Hello YouTube, this is uh, DJ Tommy J. I'm coming to you today with a special car that I found and uh, brought home. And uh, I think you'll find this rather interesting. Let me flip the camera around and show you a 1980 Electrica 007. Okay, now this, I'll back up so you can get a full full shot here. This car is quite literally is a, uh, a Dodge Omni 024 that was sent to a company in Austin, Texas uh, back in the day to convert to an electric vehicle. And uh, I'll zoom in right here and show you. They actually had their own little name badge there. So interesting car. Uh, this this vehicle, uh, body style actually later became the, uh, the, the Charger um, and the Omni remained a hatchback which you will see at a GLH over here on the other side we'll get to that later all right so this converted electric car um, very very neat vehicle and um, I had never actually seen one uh, other than on YouTube and I was lucky to find one for sale on uh, Facebook from a real nice gentleman who used to be an auto shop uh, teacher and uh, he said the kids used to drive it uh, here in Texas, and, and uh, I think it's absolutely awesome. So in the back, you see a, a whole bunch of 6-volt batteries, um, a couple of relays over there on that bank, a couple of relays on that bank. Um, I'll try to zoom in here, which is difficult to see, but there is a fan right there for venting out the uh, battery fumes. And um, apparently they didn't use any interior panels on the back of the car, and the back seat is literally gone. So... There's a lot of frame reinforcements underneath with angle iron um, to support this additional weight on the rear of the vehicle. You can see the charger socket there on the back, which of course is that. So we'll come around to the driver's side and I'll give you a shot of that and we'll go look at the instrument cluster. Um, coming up here to the front of the vehicle, you'll see that it actually has the uh, same steering wheel like the, uh, the GLH has. and um, like I said, I just got it, so I haven't gotten anything out of it yet. But I'm going to show you um, some some things here, and it might give a clue about uh, the surprise I'm going to show you in a minute. So you see there's a, a, a toggle switch there. And you come over and you look at the instrument cluster, just a speedometer. Um, then you have a couple of amp gauge and percent of charge. And you'll see a start button and a, um, a second toggle switch, okay? And we're going to get to that one in a minute, but just, just remember the second toggle switch. Um, factory radio and far side over there, you'll see a heater control uh, also with another toggle switch. So um, it is a stick shift for um, four speed and uh, the basic interior. And I think there's a new controller in that other box down there at the bottom, but... Here's where things are going to get fun. We're going to raise the hood on this baby and show you what is under the bonnet. Okay, now I'm going to have to hold this up in video at the same time. So bear with me for just a second. So over here, you see a bunch of relays, which apparently go back to the back of the car. It's all light gauge uh, wiring braided together. And that all goes back to the individual uh, uh, batteries in the back. I'm, I'm assuming to, to verify that each one has um, uh, got juice so you can monitor them. And come around here. I don't even know what that is. Um, I'll have to look it up. Manual brakes. Speed controller. Uh, wiper type. I'll have to see if I can find any markings or anything on it. But here in the front is another battery yet another battery there there is a vent right there that uh, scoops from the front of the car comes all the way around through the frame and if you follow it it goes down to the electric motor down there now the uh, auto shop teacher told me that this is a hundred horse electric motor and uh, I'm inclined to believe him at this point because uh, he was very knowledgeable on this vehicle so that's quite a uh, quite a power plant for um, a vehicle this size. Uh, massive overkill, to be honest with you. So 
what was the additional switches uh, up in the front for the second toggle switch to start was because this vehicle is a hybrid uh, interestingly it has a gas engine Briggs and Stratton up in the front that is electric start and has three alternators there's one there I uh, don't know if you can see the second one down there and the third one because I'm holding the hood I can't can't really show you but uh, just trust me when I when I tell you there's there's three in here what it does is basically you turn off one bank of batteries in the back and while that uh, you're driving on one bank this oh damn my fingers in the way this engine will simultaneously charge the uh, the other bank using these three alternators in order to extend your range now I don't have a lot of details on um, what the performance specs on this car were but with a hundred horsepower electric motor, uh, this this thing should be instantaneous as far as uh, taking off. So, anyway, uh, interesting find off of Facebook. I've got to uh, order some tires and uh, start uh, documenting everything on the car. And we're going to do a Nissan Leaf battery conversion on this vehicle, and uh, and put it on the road and uh, just see what kind of looks we get from people. So. Anyway, um, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.